these days you're in LA, mm -hmm. there's microphones everywhere. It's right, a brand right. new environment for you, but even mm -hmm. with the ramps since 2012, back mm -hmm. when they were in St. Louis, when right. you heard they were coming to LA, what was your reaction? I found out when everybody else found out. They were like, the Rams are going to LA, and I'm, what? Like, what's going on? Because I'm, I'm originally from Houston, so yeah. um, usually, you know, me and my family, we go back to Houston, and, you know, we, we stay there for the off season, and, you know, I'm on the couch watching TV, you know, and I see the announcement, I'm like, dang, like, we're really moving. So now we have to get everything ready, um, have to go to St. Louis, get all our stuff out of there, and go to L.A. So um, I, at first I was a little shocked because I didn't think it could happen that fast. And when it happened, I was like, man, you know, this is this is real. Uh, what did your wife think about moving to L.A.? Uh, at first, same reaction, just shocked. And then, you know, uh, she thought about all the things she could do. You know, she can go to Disneyland. We can take the kids here. We can take the kids there. We can do this. So it's a lot more, uh, you know, things you can do um, in L.A. Than, than St. Louis. So she was excited. Also, a lot of celebrities in Los Angeles. A lot of them go to Rams games. Mm -hmm. Have you had any big celebrity encounters? I think our first year here, we had LeBron. You're LeBron, and I kind of, you know, it's surreal. You know, you look at LeBron, and, you know, we're athletes, but, you know, he's on a different platform. <laughs> That's, you know, he's uh -huh. like, he's the king, you know? So, yeah. you know, you see him on the sideline, you're like, wow, like LeBron is at our game. But uh, besides that, man, that's, yeah, that was like the biggest thing. You know, YG Not. comes around a lot. YG comes around a lot, but YG's he's a part there. of the team, so. Can you tell YG to come on the show? Hey, YG, come on the show, man. I Stop hope tripping. he listens to you. <laughs> well, hey, LeBron's in LA all the time now, mm -hmm. so you got mm -hmm. him around. You're one of a handful of Rams who played for both Jeff Fisher and for Sean McVay. I want you to be honest with me here, because on the show, we're honest. If Jeff Fisher was still the head coach today, what would your record be at the end of the season? Man. I don't know, 79? Ah, oh, that sucks. I, and I love you, Fisher. I just want to let you know, thanks for, for the opportunity, but 79, I just think the accountability, you know, the accountability as far as, you know, everybody being on the same page, having, like, just really strict core values of, of what, this, what this game is all about and what we're about, I think we didn't have. Uh -huh. And I think that's what we have now with Sean McVay. And, then, you know, we have the same players. It's just, just different uh, atmosphere. I heard that you guys call him Sean. You don't call him Coach. I mean, Coach Sean. Um, it's a light, you know, atmosphere. I think everybody treats each other as men. You know, having a coach who's you know around your age, 31, yeah. you know, 30. You know, it's just like that's your boy. You know, so yeah. it's kind of it's, it's it's a little different. So you guys are responding really well to the fact he's around the same age as you guys, kind of lighter. Yeah, I mean, we still have that respect. He, we still know he's a man. He, he's mm -hmm. the head guy. Man, we just have a, a open and, and light atmosphere around the building. Your job is to sack the quarterback. Mm -hmm. There's a new rule this year, new roughing the passer rule. Right. What do you think about that? Um, man, it, it really, it's, it's a shame that the game has come <laughs> to this. And, and it's more about, I feel like it's about money than anything because you need your quarterbacks to play. You need the quarterbacks oh. to make the most money. Um, the quarterbacks are the one in, in front of the Papa John's commercials and stuff like that. So, um, you know, those, those guys are, are the guys people want to see. So um, if, if they aren't on the field, you know, people aren't going to want to watch it, you know. And yeah. you can see, like, last year with uh, Green Bay. Green Bay, Aaron you know, Aaron Rodgers was gone, and, you know, their, their team wasn't really good. It, they really was – you didn't really want to watch them. So now they have Aaron Rodgers. Everybody wants to watch him. You know, when it comes to those quarterbacks, we know it's, it's, it's a money business. So uh, I think that's what it comes down to. Does it make your job less fun? Yeah, I mean, it just makes it a little bit more difficult, you know. I mean, I think they do it every year, you know. How are you supposed to do that? <laughs> hug him, hug lay him, him down, lay him down gently. Like I don't know, you just when you when when you're in a game and you're thinking about it, or you're not really thinking about it, but when you get to that point, you're like, oh man, I can't, you know, mm -hmm. I can't hit him hard. I can't, you know, because you know you'll get fined or that it's gonna be a penalty. Have you talked to Jared Goff about this? No, Jared, Jared's a trooper, man. Jared's a trooper. I've seen Jared get hit really hard, and, and he's gotten up and, you know, brushed it off and, you know, made the next play. So uh, he's a trooper. This is always a fun thing to me. Mm -hmm. uh, your wife writes a blog, and she mm -hmm. talks about dating, mm -hmm. even in that, and some personal things with you. Right. Has she ever revealed too much? Have you ever had to sit her down? 
Uh, no, never, no? never. I think, you know, my wife does a great job at, you know, respecting our relationship and our marriage. And, you know, she's, she's just out there trying to um, influence other people, other young couples, you know, in our same predicament who's going through, you know, marriage at a young age. And, and we, we, you know, marriage is hard. It's work. So um, that's all we're talking about. We're just letting other people know that, you know, you're not the only one and we have testimonies as well. As you said, you're from Houston, mm -hmm. and after uh, Hurricane Harvey, you helped to raise money. Mm -hmm. How important was it for you to be involved in that? Um, it, it hit me hard, you know, uh, for me personally, you know, that's my city, you know, and, uh, you know, being a guy from Houston, you know, and it, the affected areas that around in, you know, surrounding Houston, um, I know, you know, I know a lot of people who live in that area, stuff like that. So um, it means a lot to me just to, to give back, you know, uh, a, a person from the Houston area, being in LA, got has has a bigger platform. I think JJ did a did a great job. I think he raised mm -hmm. like close to, I don't know, three millions, million, millions, millions of dollars. Yeah. So, um, you know, just help helping him out as well because he did such a great job. I didn't want him to be the only one, um, you know, having to 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 help out. And you know, me being from Houston, I wanted to do my part as well. Another great thing you did for Houston was mm -hmm. your old high school. You now mm -hmm. have a free summer camp there. Mm -hmm. What do you want the kids? to take away from your camp? Just having fun. I don't, I don't expect anybody, any of the kids to, you know, uh, oh man, they, they want to be NFL players when they grow up, man. I just want them to have fun. Man, really just giving back and showing the kids that, you know, I you know I care, you know, I came from this area. I came from, you know, the, this Houston and, and this public school. And, you know, so it's all about, you know, me giving back to them and just showing that somebody actually, you know, sees and notices them and, um, you know, giving back to them. When you first walked in, first thing I noticed is your shirt. Mm -hmm. I had to know where it was from. I right. think you said it's Versace. Uh -huh. You like fashion. I do, I do. Yeah. I, 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 you know, at first, it was, being in St. Louis, it was kind of like a little slow. Yeah. You didn't really have a lot to look at, but now being in L.A., you have all the actors. and You can walk you know, to Versace you if you want to. You can walk to Versace. So um, I, I just think it's all about, you know, uh, what a person, a person's, like, real true character because it's all about how you dress. You know, you don't, I kind of, Feel like it's like judging a book by its cover, sure. but you, you know, if you see somebody and they look nice, they dress well, yeah. you almost think, okay, that person is important. Of uh, you know, in his his or her life, you know, that person is important. So yeah. Well, so like how you look, feel or look on the outside, it kind of affects right, yeah, your yeah, confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You the look day. good, you dress good, you yeah. play good. I definitely believe in that. Um, so best sense of fashion besides you mm -hmm. on the ramps. Um, Todd Todd Gurley yeah. does it. You know, he he has his swag. Um, Woody Robert Woods. Uh, man, so many guys. I think Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald, you know, he tries to, you know, drip. We call it drip. So he tries to drip in, in, in swag and, you know, he has... Well, he isn't has dripping, like, diamonds? Diamonds, yeah. He, he's dripping in diamonds, right. too. But, you know, definitely uh, in his clothes, he, he has, uh, you know, his Gucci outfits and mm. his Gucci track suits, you know. I, and I'll be peeping, you know, so, <laughs> you know, I might have it next week. Oh. <laughs> Worst sense of fashion on the Rams. Worst sense of uh, probably golf, man. Golf oh, is no. terrible. Oh my gosh. Why? Robert's Woods wedding. I think it was like an all white affair and he wore gray or something, a blue suit. No. Yeah, it was terrible. I think it was all black and he wore gray. Was it even no, a some, good gray know. suit? Yeah, it was terrible. Yeah. Oh, it it wasn't Yeah, he had to take I think he was trying to take his jacket off or something. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, golf is terrible at, at dressing. Oh Jared Goff, if you're watching, I'm sorry. <laughs>